Hello, I am the Red Monk, and welcome, welcome to my uh, humble establishment. And uh, today's video is about humans, and humans suck. And all they keep saying is, oh, is there a song that's not about love? Why are all songs about love? And love isn't all an uncommon topic in music, but uh, here in 2019, especially so that rap overcame rock and roll as the top music genre in America, we have a whole new love, and it's narcissism, and rap is full of it. Now, I kind of suffer with rap. The whole thing is why all Asian people look the same. It's because I'm very, you know, unfamiliar with it, so I really can't tell a difference between a whole lot of stuff. And I'm not just saying that so if I say something wrong, I can be all like, oh, it's because I don't know rap. You know, I firmly uh, believe with what I'm saying. And rap isn't the only genre to have all this boastfulness, but rap has a really strong trend, and it's the topic of this video. Uh, this uh, ego padding in rap is common. It's just some rich dude talking about all the sex and money gets. It's like, good for you? But like, seriously, who cares? You know, if it's not like my friends or family, I really don't care how someone is. And something about some rich dude in California boasting sells really well. And rap's not the top music genre in America for nothing. I mean, there's got to be something about all this narcissism that sells. I uh, personally believe that uh, people uh, listen to it and uh, emphasize with it and think that they too are such tough individuals that get all the ladies. And let's not deny how much uh, human beings uh, love, and I mean love to jerk themselves off. I mean, once you start looking around for it and... Even in the mirror too, <laughs> it's really common. Now, I don't personally believe that narcissism is a disease, unless the one in a million cases that lead to strong mental, physical, or financial damage. It's more of a personality flaw. I mean, if one is hardcore masturbating in their mind to themselves, they love it. They feel like, wow, I'm so pristine smart and better than everyone else around me. Why is everyone else around me so dumb and intelligent? I love Rick and Morty. I freaking hate the NPC meme. It's so stupid. How could you obtain food and water and be so blind and such a dumbass? You know, let's think critically for a second. The Earth revolves around the sun. And if you didn't already know, the NPC meme stands for a non-player character. Basically, it states, I'm so smart and everyone else around me is so dumb they are non-player characters, bland and react consistently to any response. Now, being unable to compassionate with others around you, you know, can't understand their feelings and emotions and reasoning, doesn't mean I have so much IQ I see through all the dummies around me. It means I have my head so far up my ass, I am unable to see eye to eye with the people around me. You know, it must be so lonely having that much IQ. The term IQ is meant to measure how autistic a person is. You know, a person with low IQ can have other strengths, like being compassionate or having good spatial reasoning. And not only that, if your brain has a lower processing power, you know, like me, you can just think about things for longer, and the longer time compensates for the lower processing power. You have heard this, and hell, I'm sure some of you have thought this. I can beat up anyone in a fight, you know, same thought pattern. But instead of focusing on IQ size, it focuses on physical ability. You know, 
my personal strategy in a fight is to get a few of these uh, swagger kicks in and uh, survive till I get pulled apart by the surrounding selfless spectator. That's it, you know. I will never get into a fight to the death or a fight that doesn't have the surrounding pull apart guy nearby. And winning a fight really isn't important, you know. I said it. You can get just as far in life as being a scrawny motherfucker as a tough boy. The mentality of I am so tough and could win in any fight really doesn't get you anywhere and it's uh, very similar to uh, penis size. It's in your pants all day long. How many inches you got on your love stick doesn't matter because your uh, partner doesn't see it until she already said yes. And you know, you could be super hung, you could have a 48 inch long thing and you know, if you're too egotistical and unappealing to court anybody, it won't get any use. And a small wiener can uh, still produce them swimmers. And, uh, you know, being uh, super hung doesn't really get you anything in life except your uh, quick orgasms. Do you see this, this peanut butter complexion? Hold on a second. Let me turn that shit on. Do you see this specimen in front of you? These motherfucking biceps, this, this chiseled skin, these cheekbones. This well put together human being that's a product and generation of the correct people fucking over and over and over again? Do you see this? Don't ever call me an out of shape older Caucasian male. Me and DSP have absolutely, and I'm gonna say this again, we have absolutely nothing in common. Nothing in common. I have goals and aspirations that I'm gearing towards. I'm not just trying to make YouTube videos and this is the end of all. I'm a whole different, I'm a whole different being. Everybody rages at games. Because there's two people that rages at games that mean shit. I'm actually good in the games that I rage in on top of that. I don't just play Kingdom Hearts and shit for views. Throw up a bunch of whack ass videos. So eat a dick. Keep watching me in silence, you whack ass motherfucker. I'm the sexiest gamer on the planet. No one else exists like me. Fuck gamer, I'm one of the sexiest people on the planet, period. That's why you motherfuckers are glued that jack off to me and watch every last video that I do. Watch every last troll video because you're curious. There's something that tickles inside your net sacks and your dick when you watch me. And you're obsessed. So keep watching me. On everything that I do, whether it be on YouTube, movies, whatever. Keep jacking off. Mods, clean up the chat. With all this uh, wiener and fight talk, it's important to understand there is always a bigger fish, 100% of the time. And no matter how good you are with your fists or how many uh, inches you got on your love stick, there's always someone bigger. And, you know, not that having an average size wiener or being unable to fight is bad. You know, we each have all traits that make each one of us special. But, uh, it seems that narcissism loves the same few traits. And I'm sad to say, there is always a bigger fish, 100% of the time. You know how the lesbians of 4chan who uh, hate all men for toxic masculinity? It's kind of a shame masculinity has been acquainted with uh, narcissism and mansplaining. I love that term. It's so rich. Manspreading? But uh, don't be confused. You can still be a bit uh, abrasive, confident, stubborn without being the punchable, unrelatable kind of egotistical. And... This mindset, getting linked to uh, what a woman wants and you aren't a real man if you can't fight or have an average size wiener, really uh, fucked over masculinity as a thing. You know, manliness really became, I'm a petty person and need to lie to myself about insignificant things so I can feel better about myself and more validated than others. So... Why is being self-absorbed a bad thing? Well, there's no reason to overcomplicate it. It ignores people, lowers your charisma rating. You know, I talk to people, yes, I sometimes do that, and uh, 
you just talk about yourself, you know, use I language, they get uninterested fast. But when you ask, how do you think about that, and ask them about uh, their experiences, you are uh, able to socialize better. Secondly, if you are the dumb sort, you think people should care about you as much as you care about yourself, which they don't. This is why compassion is important. Being narcissistic leads to hitting your head against the wall when you realize that you are meaningless and just about everyone else. Uh, it takes real fucking balls to be humble, uh, to accept how small all of us are. And, uh, many people never see that. They die before they can grow past their pettiness. Uh, thirdly, as a monk, I try to reach spiritual actualization, uh, self-attunement, uh, which is the mastery of the filter between yourself and the outer world. Uh, being narcissistic fucks up how you see the world. The filter becomes weak, and you don't see the world for what it is. Man, if only we could be void of all worldly desires. That's where our weaknesses lie. We just gotta castrate ourselves and ascend to the Alamo realm. You know, uh, my fellow monks call me Double Barrel. It's because I'm so blunt. And I can tell you, it's 100% possible to still be blunt and materialistic with still being kind and friendly. Uh, ego is just a thing that makes you feel good about yourself. When you're narcissistic, you don't see the whole picture and you're less compassionate. And you're more annoying. You know, isn't it funny how narcissists try to be all materialistic like, I'm better than you and that's it, when they are so blinded by self-absorption? I promise, to the best of my ability, I will not masturbate on this channel. I want to uh, share ideas and make videos for your entertainment, not to inflate my self-image. So, you don't gotta worry about that kind of cringe on the Mazzy Monk show. Alright, we have our conclude here. Nobody cares about you, and it takes a lot of balls to accept that. Like, the loud motorcycle people. Grown men who have such small testicles, and can't accept that nobody gives one shit about them when they whine for attention. It's so petty. And uh, for the loud motorcycle people, I am uh, so above you and coolness because I can fly a plane. You are nothing to me. So, uh, fix yourself. When it comes down to it, when everyone's got themselves in mind, they don't give one shit about you. And... I don't like that at all. And I wouldn't be so against narcissism if I genuinely thought it was a negative thing. We all only got so much time on this planet, and our minds are made to take much enjoyment from each other. So when you uh, consistently uh, look up to yourself and down to other people, you are isolating yourself from uh, potential buddies. And uh, humbleness and self-awareness are so important. You know, make these uh, robust motions that have no flow and are consistent to the environment makes you fall from what you are, you know, your environment. More importantly, it blinds you from what we really are, you know, temporary, frail, and just a brain's reaction to its past experiences and environment. You know, your ego never leaves your head. You know, when you die, it's gone. I address the viewer a lot in this video, not to insult you, I'm sure you are a lovely person. Greater than three. Alright, bye now.